What is up, y'all? Flames3062 here coming at you live again through the power of the internet. So, have you guys ever asked yourself, okay, what is going to be a great first car? And, uh, well, this video is going to answer that question. Under my, actually, by my opinion, what's going to be a good first car? Uh, this video is actually going to be about my car, and I'm going to go through everything, all the features on it, and yada yada whatnot uh you guys ain't gonna probably believe me but uh just watch this video because i'm gonna show you the mileage on my car now i ain't gonna say it now you guys will find out in the middle of the video because it's it's actually a little surprise uh other than that i think it's a great car it's been very reliable to where i've been going with it uh it's a four cylinder and uh, everybody talks crap on the four cylinders. Oh, they don't last long, or oh, they're just pieces of junk, or oh, they just blow up out of nowhere. Well, not this car. This car has been being really, really good to me. And uh, so I'm gonna go over everything in this video about my car and how clean I keep it and how clean that car is itself. And uh, so other than that. Let's get to it. So yeah, it's a very good car and uh, very clean. So I'm gonna open the hood up and show you guys under the hood and show you how clean the underneath the hood is. Like I'm talking clean, I keep it clean. I mean, just look at it. Like I, that's how clean this motor is. It, you don't even know the mileage on this motor. I uh, put this new cold air intake on it. Well, air intake, I should say. It's not a cold air intake. It helps it out quite a bit with the airflow and stuff. It doesn't add much horsepower. It just adds like I don't know, two horsepower, so it's nothing fancy. Uh, very, like it's very clean under the hood. I keep good care of it. Keep the motor clean. Not one speck of oil. Nothing on it. Uh, other than that, like I said, didn't really have to do too much to the car. Just except for minor maintenance, like brakes, motors, and all that good stuff. But I'll show you the inside of it. The inside of it's like really clean. Get that get the key out of it. As you can see, it's a little dirty on the driver's side. I, obviously, I'm the only one who drives a car, but other than that, I keep it really clean. The interior is still in great shape. Uh, closing the back, look at the back. Really clean. There's like very, very minor spills and stains and stuff, but that's just, you know, it's over the age. Really clean car, clean floor. It's like everything's just clean about this car. Uh, I'd show the trunk, but I got tons of stuff in there, so I'm not gonna bother showing the trunk, but you obviously know what the trunk is, it looks like. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get in it. I'll start it up for you guys and show you how good it sounds. And I'm gonna show you what the mileage is. I'm gonna keep that. I kept that a secret so you guys, because you guys wouldn't believe me anyway. But here's the mileage on it 279,395 miles. And it's still going. Not ticking, it's not knocking, it ain't doing nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up for you. Make sure it's in neutral. And here we go. Look at that. The fire's right up. Like I said, it runs really really smooth other than that it's a very nice four cylinder the only major the only actually problem that it needs is it needs an exhaust piece from here to there there's there's like three holes in it as you can tell from here but I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood again so you guys can actually hear it run it's, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I mean, listen to that motor purr. It's not. It's not doing nothing. There we go. As you can see, my, my arm's not shaking. It's it's running really good. Like, uh, like I said, the only thing I had to do is I had to replace this part here, and then I just set this on while I was already far. I got the new foil pack, new spark plugs. Basically a tune-up, and then I got that filter. But other than that, it's a really good running car. 
I would, I would highly, I would highly recommend this car to anybody. Like, no honest. Unless if you want the automatic, it obviously coming automatic. Like, it's a very clean car. 2004, almost 300,000 miles, still going strong. But uh, other than that, that's that's it's it is what it is, I guess. You just got to find the right car, the right price, and get you to point A to point B without having to cost you any money like this one. This one that never had to cost me no money. So other than that, guys, that's it. Basically, I went I went over everything about my car. Uh, it's a very nice car. It's decently comfortable. And uh, the only thing this doesn't have, which this is the base model, they make Saturn, this is a Saturn Ion, they make Saturn Ion 1s, Saturn Ion 2s, and Saturn Ion 3s. Now the 3s are the ones that got all the options in it, like power sunroof, power windows, power locks, cruise control, and uh, I think I'm forgetting some. And uh, key, the keyless fob entry, some of them 3s all have remote start. But my car, this one here, is just a base model. It doesn't have nothing. It doesn't have power windows, power locks, cruise control. It, it's not. It's just a basic feature car because it's a Saturn Island base model. But other than that, it's, a, it's basically it. Like I said, it gets. I've been driving this thing for four years now and really never had a problem with it. Uh, like I said, just had to replace some minor things on it. And uh, other than that, it's been really good to me, and I continue to hope it does good for me. And uh, other than that, that's basically it. It's just pretty sad that a 300,000 mile car still running very strong, and my truck, <laughs> my truck is not doing too well, and it only has 113,000 miles, and that's down right now. So gotta love your Ford, I guess, right? Well, this car here, 300,000 miles still goes. So I decided to make a video today about my car, guys. Just you know, just show you like a piece of history to me. Uh, it's, you know, it's just a good running car. They these 2.2 Ecotec motors, like I said, they don't give up. So, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, always remember to subscribe and like for more videos and more content. I'm hoping to upload more frequently because I've been so busy lately with jobs and side jobs. It's just like I have no time to make any more videos anymore. So, I'm going to try to find some time now that since winter time's coming, I'm hoping to get a little bit more free time out of it. So hopefully I'll have some more videos made for you guys since you know it's cold out in winter time, nothing really going on, side jobs are down, grass cutting season's going down until next year. So other than that, always remember to stay tuned and uh would always have more videos on standby waiting for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. See you guys.